Hello everybody. Today, this is Lola Chris by the way. Uh, I'm back. I was out for about a week because I had a, an oral surgery and it really bothered me a lot. So anyway, today I'm going to make um, picadillo. It's ground beef with some potatoes and you saute it in um, garlic, onion, tomatoes. And um, here, here are my ingredients right here okay I also decided to put the green pepper although sometimes I don't put that but you know uh, I don't want to throw it away and um, I'm trying to make use of all my ingredients because I can't really easily buy them I don't go out I just order them and actually this this pan is already heating Let's see let's put it higher okay um yeah it's a simple dish and you use ground beef and this ground beef is from once and it's called organic ground beef it's it's um uh, it's very lean and it's very affordable and what's a better word um okay so no artificial Anti no antibiotics, no added hormones, raised on certified organic pastures, no preservatives. So this is the one I buy. Uh, it's from Vons. And in California, the counterpart of Vons is Safeway. So you can, you can probably look for it at Safeway when you're in California. Anyway, okay, let's start sauteing this. I'm going to put, um, let's raise this up. I, because this is beef and it has a little fat so I will decrease I will decrease my olive oil my oil to just just two tablespoons sometimes even less but let's see this is olive oil anyway so let's put two tablespoons let's put two tablespoons of olive oil Let's start with the onions. This is just five pieces, five cloves of the onions. The onions here are so huge. So I just, I'm just using five cloves. So I love onions, uh, I, garlic, I'm sorry. I love garlic anyway. So let's saute that first and brown it just a little bit. As I told you before, that's the way we used to cook back home, my mom. She would saute it. Uh, let's remove that. So it becomes just slightly brown, not burned. You just want the aroma to come out. And also, it gives that certain flavor that you cannot get when you just put it on the second round of using your onion first and then the garlic. I just I want to toast it a little bit to bring out that aroma and the taste that I'm looking for. Okay, so let's saute that. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, okay, it needs a little more brown. Not really dark brown, but just a little more brown. And then put your, your chop, because it's picadillo, so I chopped my onions finely. And I'm going to saute this until it becomes translucent before I put my uh, tomatoes. Okay, let's wait for that. This is such a simple dish that I guess everybody knows how to do. You probably have your own way of doing it, but this is the way I do it. This is the way I've been doing it. Normally, when you cook Filipino dish, it's just slight, sliced onions. But this way, I, I made it chopped into this smaller pieces so it would uh, 
go with uh, the ground ground meat. Okay, I think that's okay. So let's put, by the way, I ran out of my Roma tomatoes, so this is for my salad, and I'm using it, but it's still okay. It's still tomatoes. Okay, so that a bit and lower your temperature. Temperature of your pan. Then now let's put our the tomatoes will cook later on. Um, I'm going to put my meat now. And then I do this, I need another level, another cooking this one. Luto na po sa konti. Lutoin pa natin siya. How you cook is how you see what you're cooking. Pag nakita nyo po na na medyo matambok siya, di durug-durugin nyo siyang ganyan para, you know, maluto siya at mag-spread yung meat. Kasi galing po ito sa sa freezer na dinitrost ko. Kasi once a week lang po ako magpa-supply, magpa-deliver ng food namin. Okay. So, at this point, lalagyan ko po siya ng 1 teaspoon. 1 teaspoon ng salt. Or, yeah, 1 teaspoon ng salt. Kapagat niyo po yung salt. Tapos, lagyan, niya, lagyan na din po ninyo ng ground pepper. Ito po. And then, just mix it. Mix lang po ninyo yan. Simple ang luto lang po ito. Hindi po ito napakahirap. Pero sa ngayong panahon ho, uh, simple lang po niluluto ko dahil hindi naman po ninyo makuha lahat yung ingredients na gusto niyo sa, sa pag-order niyo online. So mga ganito, healthy po siya. Tapos meron naman siyang mga gulay na konti. Okay na po yun. Dapat sa medium heat na. Pakatapos po, lalagay na rin natin yung ating patatas. Yung patatas po, binabag ko sa tubig para hindi mag-oxidize. Uh, kasi mangingitin po yan. So, lagay natin. Tingnan natin kung isan pag maski na nagayat ko na siyang ganyan, pag sobrang dami, hindi ko naman nilalagay din lahat. Palagay ko po. Okay na yan. Okay. I'm not gonna put all because sobrang dami po. Dalawang patatas lang yan. Pero mukhang marami siya. So let's put the top. Yan. Tapos po takpan natin yan. Pakuluan natin ng a few minutes. Pero before we do that, 
Ilagay na rin yung natin yung ating ano. Yung ating diced na sili. Yung ating si chili pepper. Magayon na po natin ito. Ito po ay ilalagay ko dahil maganda ito sa katawan. Maraming vitamin C po ito. And then, meron pa po akong isang nalimutan na ilalagay. Yung aking laurel. I cut it para lumabas po yung aroma. I tear it into two, into pieces. Huwag naman masyadong malisip. Just enough. And then, ayan na po ang ating uh, picadillo. Tatakpan natin ito tapos sa uh, ilagay lang natin sa mababang apoy. At ikulo natin sa mga 10 minutes lang or even less. Tinitignan ko po siya, binabantay ako. Depende po. Okay. Ayan po ang ating pekadilyo. Ayan. Maraming pong salamat sa panonood ninyo. At sana po, next time, abangan nyo yung susunod na gagawin ko. At uh, um, marami pa po akong naisip the feature kanya lang po yung mga uh, ingredients ay medyo 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 mahirap makuha pero nakaip na po ako ng ingredients marami po akong bubutuin okay abangan po ninyo at huwag po ninyo kalimutan mag subscribe tapos um, ano po, po um, kung gusto nyo i-like nyo po kung nagustuhan nyo yung simpleng luto ko na ito at ishare ninyo at mag comment po kayo wag po kayo mahihiya okay lang po yun okay sige po maraming salamat okay thank you bye